I always wanted to go to America since I was a little kid. I was thinking of learning English and traveling around this huge, wonderful country. And when I heard of an organization that could help me studying in the US, I couldn't pass it up. I mean, how could I? America was waiting and I couldn't wait to get there. I spent months planning my trip and during that time I created the perfect fantasy of living in a big, beautiful house with a typical American family and going to a really big high school where I would play football or baseball. Everything was going to be perfect. And then I got the news that I would be staying in New York. Brooklyn, New York. With two professors who owned a big house, they play a lot of sports and travel all the time. Wow. Well, they weren't exactly what I expected. But I didn't care. I mean, New York City. I, I couldn't believe my good luck. August 22nd, 2003, I arrived at JFK Airport and I was ready to start my new life in the USA. I remember going through customs and seeing that big door, the door to my America. Before I go on, I have to tell you something about myself. I'm the kind of person who likes to think about stuff, likes, I, li I like to savor the very special times. And this was an extraordinary moment, and I really want to remember it for a long time. So I waited for a moment, and then I went through. Behind the door, my American family was waiting for me, and there was Juan, a big black guy, and a small Asian kid named Arm. Arm was my host brother from Thailand, who I would share a room with for the whole year. I liked him. I liked Juan. Everything was working out great. Now it was time to see my big American home. But driving through the streets of Brooklyn, I felt a little bit confused. This is America? It sure didn't look like the one I saw on the television back in Germany. Where were all these big houses and cars and all the beautiful blue-eyed people? But I didn't say anything. I kept it all to myself, but what if the house wasn't exactly what I expected? I was not disappointed. Until... I visited my new school. That's when I really started to get depressed. First of all, it wasn't huge. The entire student body consisted of 300 students. They were all immigrants struggling to learn English. And then the really bad news came. No sports. No football team, no baseball team, no cheerleaders. Nothing. My American dream was going to hell. And there was nothing I could do about it. I had been in America for about a week when something happened, something amazing. My roommate and I took the subway to Manhattan. As the train crossed over the Manhattan Bridge and I saw New York City, in that moment everything changed. And as I walked through Times Square, I was, I was just amazed. I mean, besides this humongous commercials and lights, there were so many different people from all over the world. I mean, like a quarter million people in a radius of two miles. It, it's just truly beautiful. And I think that's when I realized that this is America, the real America. The face of America is changing and will continue to change because here you have the freedom to be whoever you want to be. Or at least that's the promise that has brought people here for hundreds of years. Well, that's my story. And you know what? I realized that my American dream really did come true.